Weather Tracker for Chief Meteorologist Matt Road. A lot of people excited about the weekend and uh, this nice little warm up we're going to have. Yeah, it's uh, gradual, it's subtle, but it's going to become much more dramatic when you take, you know, a couple degrees yeah. tomorrow and add that to a few more nice. Sunday, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get started. Let's jump right into your weekend because, hey, we've uh, earned it, right? Friday night. Uh, this is how things shake out tomorrow morning. We're looking at temperatures into the low to mid 40s. So, jacket weather if you have early morning plans outdoors and uh, abundant sunshine all day long. Daytime highs topping off into the upper 60s. Now, Sunday looks to be equally as nice. We may see a few more clouds, and we're also definitely going to see a little bit more of a beef up of that temperature into the lower 70s. So, that is certainly a good thing. We've paid our dues for the first part of January. Lots of rain, lots of cold. Now we're getting a little warm up. What we're tracking sunny and warm conditions really for the next several days. That is uh, really a given. Could see a few breezes again tomorrow. Nothing too windy. I think with elevation, maybe a little bit windier. And then finally, we are tracking some rain late next work week. We're looking at a pretty sizable pattern change entering southeastern Arizona. So in our Storm Tracker 4 Weather Center, this is a pattern change. Here's what we know, okay? A strong storm is likely to arrive sometime late next work week. That's what we know. Above average precipitation, also a good bet. Accumulating mountain snow also. Here's what we don't exactly know just yet. Precise rain and snowfall amounts, precise snow levels, and also precise timing details. These things will become in much better focus here over the course of the next couple of days. But put that on the back burner. Think about that because that will be our change that we're going to probably see into the middle to late portion of next work week. Live look from our Storm Tracker 4 Sky Cam Network. City lights coming on 58 degrees. Last check at Tucson International Airport. We're looking at Northwest Windsor Light at 9 miles per hour. 57 Oro Valley, 57 Sabino Canyon, 34 on that snow covered mountaintop, Mount Lemon. And we are tracking temperatures primarily into the upper 40s to lower 50s for Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Here's our Texas low pressure system that brought us uh, unsettled weather earlier this work week that has passed on by. Up next is this area of high pressure building off the Southern California coastal waters, and that's going to be the mainstay for the next several days as this ridge of high pressure continues to build in. That's going to bump our temperatures up to the mid, if not even upper 70s before that big pattern change. Uh, decides to come. Look at this. It's next Friday. So again, a lot can change between now and then. We will watch the trends very closely. Tracking early morning lows on your Saturday looking like this. Upper 30s to lower 40s. And we'll track temperatures into the upper 20s for Benson Wilcox. Daytime highs tomorrow into the upper 60s. So we're going to eke out a few more degrees of warmth tomorrow. And we'll keep things in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Cochise, Santa Cruz County. Your storm tracker for 10 day tracker. Upper 60s tomorrow. Low 70s as soon as Sunday. Mid 70s Monday. How about this? for a bonus upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. Button up close to that 80 degree mark. I think we come in just shy and then that uh, pattern change. We still know a lot about it, but we still don't know a lot about it. So we, as always, ask you to stay tuned. But bottom line is Thursday and beyond of next work week, we could see a sizable pattern change. More on that in the coming days, Monica. That is one look, a good looking forecast. Thank you for that, Matt. Mm -hmm.